Hey YouTube, this is for my Gastro Bypass subscribers. Um, sometimes I'm asked questions about what I eat or what vitamins and um, supplements that I take. So I thought I would just talk about the vitamins and the supplements today. Anybody that has had gastric bypass knows that you need to be checked three to six months, um, uh, every three to six months in regard to making sure that you are not deficient in any vitamins or nutrients or minerals because with gastric bypass you now have a malabsorption problem uh, which means that you don't absorb things the proper way all the time so there's um, some things that you have to do like when you eat you should wait 30 minutes until you drink things like that very hard for me to do so one of the things that I was deficient in um, more than once that I needed to supplement was calcium so this is from GNC and it's calcium plus it's 1000 um, milligrams I believe yeah oh, this is on the front the calcium plus I am take a uh, time release B12 1000 micrograms um, I take now those are two of the things that I was deficient in as well as being told that I needed to keep taking vitamin C so those are the things that the doctor kept noticing that I was consistently deficient in as well as needing to um, up my protein and I'm not a big meat eater and I don't eat beef at all I eat pork in the form of bacon that's about it maybe sausage every now and then but for the most part I'm a poultry fish chick so to supplement the protein that I need because I don't eat fish and chicken every day either I, I just I don't know it's the weirdest thing after gastric bypass I really didn't I really wasn't interested in meat and fish and proteins and things like that so I had to supplement it so I do that with soy milk because I don't do cow milk probably haven't in almost like 12 13 years or something like that and I also do tofu and this tofu is wonderful because it's a spicy tofu and it's firm this is the best stuff in a stir fry oh my gosh it's wonderful so other things that I take just because I don't want to be lacking anything is some type of oil based supplement omega 369 um, this is a concentrated one this is um, a uh, combination supplement that's really supposed to be good for your heart I believe um, it's in the form of these little packets that look like pudding and it's orange flavored it is wonderful it's really good so I could either just zip it and um, I guess I'll do that right now and um, Mm. show you what it looks like see it's like orange that was weird I know but anyway for the most part it tastes like orange pudding so you can do like I just did and just kind of like suck it through the tube like you used to do ketchup when you were a little kid or put them in the refrigerator and keep them frozen I'm not frozen cool it actually tastes like a really nice snack has a slight aftertaste but it's all right um i do some type of green drink so i have this green magma plus it's a powder a green powder and i mix it like in the morning with my bananas and strawberries or my bananas and blueberries i'm a smoothie girl especially in the summertime i'm a smoothie girl in the summer and i'm a tea chick in the winter so um every morning almost every morning i have to fix a smoothie so sometimes that smoothie has um some green magma in it just so I can get all of my enzymes antioxidants and things like that then I take a probiotic so this is blueberry pro 96 acidophilus probiotic just so that I can have the good um, um, uh, um, oh, what are they called in your intestines I forgot the good stuff in your intestines to help it with digestion I'm blank right now it's the end of the day 
It says one tablespoonful. I will take this straight because this stuff is good. It tastes like blueberries. It has to be refrigerated. It does not have a bad aftertaste. It really tastes really good. So I'll either take it straight or I'll put this in the smoothie as well. And then I take extra biotin, 2,500 milligrams of biotin, just to help with um, the hair and the nails because of the lack of the protein. So an extra kick and it is proving to work very, very well. Um, I, my hair did fall out and I went from really long shoulder length hair, actually like here length hair to here, 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 here. And then the front of it just kind of broke off, wouldn't grow back. That was another um, 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 motive for me to go natural and, and it's been working. So those are just a few of the things that I do on a daily basis and um, I'll show you more later, okay?